JB Diego winter wheat after beans sown around uh, uh, 20th of September. Uh, I think we are into fourth year of direct drilling in this field. Uh, started off with oilsy rape, drilled with a claydon, then we had winter wheat with John Deere 750, then we had beans last year, spring beans again, John Deere 750, and now we're here in wheat again. Looking very nice to be honest. Uh, I think very happy with this one. Some beans in it alright, the volunteer beans, but as happens kind of when the direct drill after, especially with the disc drill, you don't tend to bunch the beans up like you might do after a plow, get them in rows, so they're all just nicely distributed. They're not doing any smothering or shading of the wheat and more than likely only doing some good for the minute. So We'll uh, take them out eventually whenever we come to do the spring herbicide. Uh, we'll probably well, it'll be into March anyway before we do that. Um, yeah, that's lovely there. Lovely. Uh, yeah, we haven't been in this with the sprayer yet. No, no insecticides. Uh, or herbicides yet, which we will have to do something in the, later on for, for weeds alright, but this year we haven't used any insecticides on any of the farm, so this is our second year in a row now of that. Last year it was kind of a bit more by default, as in that just so wet, we couldn't travel anywhere in the autumn with uh, insecticides, but well it was a little bit of that this year again, but more so by choice I think, so which is it's a nice progression for the farm to be making and uh, look we haven't just done it willy nilly we've tried bits of it over the year over the years and with the with the low disturbance drilling and good rotation and generally soil health improving on the farm over the years we're fairly confident that we were doing it without, uh, you know, we're not going to see much yield penalty from it. Plus the fact that there's huge resistance out there with the uh, spray, you know, the options you have for spraying on insecticides, so all things considered, it's not a huge risk to take really, to go without them, so I think it's a good move. We did slug pella put one application of slug pellets on this field and I think we did roll it actually after sowing as well so we sowed it with the John Deere pretty much straight after we uh, we sowed it and then put slug pellets on just because I think you know we had a bit of a we had a ropey off ropey in event and not too nice autumn last year for crop establishment so we kind of just wanted to make sure we didn't even have the chance to just share. So we just put one application of slug pellets on, but you know, I don't probably would have got away without it, maybe in an odd patch, but anyway, that's what we did. Yeah, looks hard, it looks good. And for being quite so, for being fairly early sowed and after beans where there should be a bit of nitrogen lying around, it hasn't gotten too advanced. It should, it's still nice enough. And roughly speaking, it's, where we'd like it heading into the spring. So yeah. And that's that one. 